what up? Oh, I should probably move the microphone closer. Oh, what up? Oh, it's a day. It's a day to be alive, I'll be honest with you. You'd think that you'd think that every day would be a day to be alive, but it's not true. There are a lot of days where you should not. There are a lot of days where it is genuinely preferable to do whatever the opposite of that is. Uh, you know, but that's life. But today, today is a day to be alive. Uh, we're gonna be playing Pokemon all day. Like, I'm gonna be playing Pokemon end to end. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, uh, you might be looking at three separate videos. Um, we're gonna be doing Pokemon trading card game, the Pokemon TCGL, as they call it. Uh, then we're gonna follow it up with some Unite for a little bit in the middle of the day, and then I'm gonna cut it all off with a, a stream of Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's been a long time since I played, uh, uh, PLA, um, but I like it. I love I, I love Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's a really great game, uh, and I you know what else could you want? Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and switch over to the computer. Can I get can I get input from the computer audio, please? Um, properties. Computer audio is the sound that comes through my headphones? No. This one. Uh. Hello? Not this one? This one? I don't understand. Is it this one? Is it not playing audio? This is a great thing to do live, by the way. This is what you want every streamer to do live. Computer audio. What if we turn the computer audio up? Nope, even then it doesn't do anything. Uh, monitor and output. Monitor off? I don't understand this. I don't even, I don't even know, dog. Oh, is this because, hold on, I might have the wrong source set up. We want, what we want is, uh, audio output. Computer audio. Is that the same thing? All right, all right, all right. Then remove this one. That's literally the same thing two times. Definitely should have got this set up before. Um, audio input Book capture. capture. This, this one? one? No, no, that's, that's the, the microphone. microphone. Hold on. Headset? Oh. Oh, oh the, the headset, headset is just me. me. I, understand. I, understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. Hello? Computer? I mean, I can hear it. Does it need to be at, like, negative 20 decibels? Is that a problem? You know? You know, I'll be- <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna assume that it should be the headphones. Oh, there it is. I fixed it. I literally just set it back to whatever it was before, and it's fine now. That's what we love to see. Alright. So, to future me, uh, just cut all this out. <laughs> uh, just, you know, just ignore this. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna play some Pokemon. 
um, I have to use some abilities and knock out some of my opponent's Pokemon. I can definitely do that. We're going to play with my deck that I've been using for quite some time. And I have to load up a little Google Doc. Excuse me, jeez. I gotta load up a little Google Doc. Uh, so that I can... Keep track of how many matches I fight. How many how many games I play. Uh, it's important. Because it helps me keep track of what I'm doing. Um, okay, but let's just fucking go right into it, you know? Like, I... It's Pokemon. I know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. Maybe we should cut the resolution down to 1080. This will help a thing. Yes. We'll see. It might help a little bit. I don't fucking know. It's Nadia, 1993. She's got a 660 score. She's in Ho-Oh. Okay. I swear to God, they'll just match you with anybody. They really will. They'll just put you with, like, absolutely anyone. Like, it doesn't matter if they're close enough to your, to your league rank or whatever the hell you call it. Can I zoom the camera in again, please? Let me zoom the camera in. Zoom. Apply. Okay. Uh, yes, I will go first. Thank you. I'm- I'm just like- like, what am I doing? I'm in like the middle of the game and I'm like, just like clicking on settings and like fucking with the mic and all this, like... Okay, I guess we're doing Shuppet first. Which is actually fine. Oh, Shuppet, come on. Yeah, Shuppet going first is fine because I have a buddy buddy and it's- and an Evo in my hand. Uh... Obviously the Evo doesn't help right now, but we can at least buddy buddy for... We'll pull out... Uh, we definitely need not to. Let's pull, let's pull not to and Flittle to start with. Whatever. I was thinking about Mimikyu, but Mimikyu wouldn't really... I would rather get my engine going. Because uh, Arceus has to take a second to actually play. Oh, he's playing a Psychic deck. Oh, he's got two Arceus. He's not playing a Psychic deck. I'm good with an Iono. I mean, I can still get the cards that I need later. Plus, this will probably give me... Yep, there we go. That gives me a Mimikyu, and an Ultra Ball, and an Energy. And that's what I need. Okay. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to... Yeah, we're gonna Mimikyu. Uh, we will put an Energy onto Chappette. I kind of want a Professor's Research... I don't think that's a great idea yet. I don't think we're Earl. I don't think we're into the game enough that it will matter. We're gonna Ultra Ball away the league. Uh, yeah, we're gonna Ultra Ball away the league and then not to, I guess. Uh, cause I want, I want my Bayonet EX to start with. Because this way I can at least guarantee that he can't attack me right away. Um, no, the Wool Professor's research. Who cares? Um, okay, that didn't even help that much. Uh, we'll just hit with the Everlasting. I think I need to swap one of these uh, Professor's researches for a another Iono. Because I don't like throwing my hand away. I know that it's like the strategy... Like, the ideal strategy is to throw your hand away when you don't need anything in it. But I feel like it's dangerous because it gets rid of my shit sometimes. So this is a Giratina deck. So I should have kept that boss's orders. I understand now. I understand that I'm a little, uh, a little dumb. A little silly sometimes. We're gonna Iono. I know that this is gonna benefit him too, but I need other cards in my hand. That's fine, I guess. We're gonna put an energy on Little. 
then we're going to Evo. Yeah, we're going to use Evo instead of Everlasting. Because uh, then I can Natu and Blittle into the Espathra and the Zatu. Good. That's what we want. Got to keep your Pokemon evolving. He has a very interesting little setup here. It's kind of a ramshackle deck, but I wonder what's going on with it exactly. Yeah, you're going to move to the front and use Shred? That's that's cool with me, dog. Oh, he's going to move to the front and use Star Requiem. Oh, no, he can't use Star Requiem. He doesn't have anything to Lost on. He's going to use Lost Impact, which is going to kill, of course, but then he's got to get rid of some of his cards. What an interesting little deck he has. Like, what a funny little combo. We're going to put Mimikyu in, obviously, because I don't have a prep yet. I don't have full prep. Uh, okay, cool. We can... This will work. We can Tulip. Um, I don't like when it makes you select. There's only four cards in my discard that, <laughs> that could work for this. Just give them to me. Just give me all of them. Uh, we're gonna put Shuppet back out. We're gonna put... Oh god, this is such a hard... Like, oh, what do I do here? Moment. Uh, we're gonna put an energy onto his bathroom so I can draw to... Oh, I could counter catch her. I could counter catch her his Arceus... Wait, okay, so this is 60, 90, 120, 150... But then, okay, no, 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 this will work, this will work, this will work. Um, we're going to put an energy on Mimikyu. Uh, and then we're going to retreat Mimikyu and put Espathra in. We're going to Earthen Vessel out our other Natu. The card that I'm recycling, because I don't need it. Um, I could energy switch, it wouldn't really benefit me that much. I could Bayonet, but I don't want to give him a free double prizer in case he hits Lost again. I think let's just hit him for 150 and move on. Ooh, I punched the mic again. Like I'm doing all the damn time. So here's the thing. He can't Lost Impact unless he can attach two energies. He can't attach two energies unless he can Mirage Gate. He can't Mirage Gate unless he can put four more things into the lost zone and he can't do that because he doesn't have comfy that's so why is he running this deck without comfy oh you're gonna move in Arceus so that you can't do anything yeah great no I like this please keep going um I guess I'll spend a buddy to get another Espathra. Yeah, I'll spend a buddy to get another... Another Flittle, I should say. Um, so that I can Espathra in the future. Uh, do I have anything in the discard that needs to be super rotted? No. Not really. Um, we will... Here's what we're gonna do. Oh, no, I, I shouldn't... Uh, I don't need Duayono. We're just going to Clairvoyant and Energy onto... We'll put it onto Mimikyu, because I feel like he's going to try something weird. Um, do I have a boss in the discard? I do. So I will... Oh, but that would help him. Well, not that much. Honestly, not that much. Especially if I kill him, which I'm going to do. Uh, we're going to put another energy onto his Spathra. We are going to boss in his Giratina. Uh, then we're going to hit for 120, which puts him to 270. Oh, I did the math wrong. I forgot he didn't have any more energies attached. That's okay. I mean, it's not like I could have killed the Arceus, and I would have rather... I would rather he have this Giratina in the active spot where he can't do anything with it. 
Yeah, that seems smarter to me. To have the Giratina in the active spot where he can't use it. Oh, he's gonna boss it in my shop it. Okay, that's kind of funny, because it's not gonna do anything. Oh, you're gonna put an energy on okay. Um Did I get my counter catcher or my other uh okay, we're going to I'm gonna energy retrieval. Put that one energy back in my hand. I'm going to attach to shop it. Then I'm going to clairvoyant onto uh Espathra to draw two cards. Okay. Yeah, this works. Um, I will put, well, but then he can, no, 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 but then he can't kill me. Okay, this will work. Uh, we're gonna throw Bayonet here. We're going to Lady. Yeah, 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 we'll Lady. I'm just gonna pull three energies, though. Yep, I know. Uh, and these will just be for me, for later. Um, and then we're just gonna hit him with a quick Everlasting Darkness, which will not only kill him, but also block him from using items on his next turn. Thank you. A Flittle and a Psychic Energy. Cool, I'm down with that. Because here's the thing, right? Does he have Arceus V-Star in this deck? Does he have a way to do anything? He can power edge me, certainly. But then if he power edges me, I can just bring his Spathra in for the kill. Oh, he's gonna Trinity Charge, because he wants to power up his Superior. I forgot he had a Superior on the bench. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, okay, that's still not gonna do that much. Uh, okay, so 60, 90... 120, 150, 180, 210, 240. That'll work, baby! Oh, that's right, he needs to... Alright, 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 alright. Um, We're going to Zatu. We're going to Clairvoyant and Energy onto Mimikyu, just in case. I don't think I'll need it, but it's, it's really a just-in-case card. Um, then we're going to... Retreat Bayonet. So we can bring a Spathra in. And then I think I'll... I, yeah, I think I'll Tulip. Just to get my cards back into my hand. Thank you. Um, This will do 240, which is exactly what I need to kill. Cool. Let's do that. We can Cyball him. That'll put me in the lead. Uh, now, Regal Blender is a formidable move. Um, obviously, he's going to bring a superior in, but here's the thing. He still needs extra... Excuse me. He still needs extra energy, unless he brings his Mimikyu in. Uh, in which case, I will Arvin for my counter catcher. Yes. Or I'll hope to draw a boss next turn. It all depends. Unless he stalls. Has he realized that he's going to lose and now he's not going to play? Is that what's happening? Come on, bud. You can do it. Don't worry, folks. The stream is not lagging. This guy just is not pulling a new Pokemon into the active. It's about to time him out, too. It should be... It should be around... 10 seconds that he has left? Yeah. Oh, look at that. There you go. You draw your energy, why don't you? I do have him outplayed at the moment, is the thing. Um, five energies will do 60, 90, 120, 180, 210. That's not enough to kill. But I have energy switch. That's it. That's game. Checkmate. Well, check. I mean, he still has to wait out the rest of his turn. I'm gonna just hit him with the smile. Just a, just a smile, you know? 
Because, like, the thumbs down is a little aggressive, and, like, the thumbs up is also kind of aggressive. The thumbs up is definitely aggressive. Like, that, you do not thumbs up in this game unless you know that your opponent is cool. Because if you thumbs up, like, these people will get so fucking pissed. Um, anyway. Alright, so we're gonna throw an energy onto Espathra. Then we're going to play energy switch to move an energy from Mimikyu to Espathra. And this attack will allow me to do 210 damage. For fuck's sake. I thought I had more. Uh, oh, I have another energy switch, though. Right? Yeah! Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The double energy switch. I did the math wrong. I should have... Oh my god. I did the math wrong, but it's cool. Seven energies is a full knockout. That's way too many energies, to be honest with you. Having to attach seven energies... I mean, normally you wouldn't have to, because your opponent would have en 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 energies on them. But... It's good! That's game, baby! Alright, so what is today? Uh... Friday, May 17th. Um... Friday, May 17th, this was an online game. Uh, I was playing the deck I always play with. My opponent was, this was like an Arceus V... What was this? Arceus V slash Giratina V slash Superior V? Like, I don't know why he played that victory. Was that two in a row? No, that's just one in a row. Um, his deck didn't run any Lost Zone stuff. Deck didn't run any Lost Zone cards, so he couldn't power up Giratina. That's it. Like, I don't have an extra comment to add to that. He just couldn't power up Giratina. Oh, did I hit tier 34? Wow, that's crazy. Okay, I will take this, and I will take this. This one precept, the other one didn't? Whatever. Deal 50 damage to your opponent in a single hit. I can do that, that's easy. Why do I have 55? What's, where's the 5 from? What is that? I, I did not, oh, 620. Okay. How did that last person make it to 660 with the deck that they were playing? I have that coin in real life. It's over here somewhere. It's like down below the table. Your opponent won the coin flip and is deciding who goes first. Who goes first? I'm having a hair day. I wouldn't say it's a bad hair day. It's definitely a hair day though. Oh good, I got both of my bayonets and no basic Pokemon. Oh, my lost vacuum. I wanted that. Uh, okay, we will Mimikyu first, obviously. Throw Shepard on the bench. Uh, damn. This is not good. This is not a good opening hand. I have both my Spathers and both my Zatus. And no Flittles and no Natus. Is it Natu or Natu? I think it's not to, because there's only one T, right? What the hell? It's an Arceus V again. Maybe I can Iono or something. I don't know. It's an Arceus V and he's running Grass Energy. Okay, so it's a Lost deck, probably. I would assume. What should I do here? If I league, then I can keep him... Yeah, I'm gonna league for now. Because I want to keep him from attacking. Because this makes it so that he has to put three energies on there just to use Trinity Charge, and that makes shit way too hard for him. Oh, Judge! I'll take Judge! Okay, that's not better. 
Oh, we put Lost City in. I fucking hate Lost City. Lost City's lame. Not a fan. Personally. Come on, dude. Select your cards. It shouldn't take you this long. I feel like Starbirth should end your turn. Oh, he's got the promo Giratina. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, you're gonna use Trinity Nova. Oh, it didn't do anything. Uh-huh. Three basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon V in any way you like. That's too strong. I'm not gonna lie, Arceus V-Star should be like excuse me, Jesus, a triple prizer. Uh yeah, we're gonna Well but then he could just Well he could easily just law yeah, he could easily just boss it in. Uh Okay, we're gonna professor's research. Okay, that kind of worked out. That's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. This'll work. This'll work. Uh, okay, Flittle and a Natu, please. Um, next turn we can Aspathra. I could put Mimikyu down. Um, and I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want a puppet offering yet. I don't want a puppet offering anytime soon. So we're just going to keep shop it on the bench as is. And we're going to ghost die for 70 damage. What do I have to hit him? 70, 140, 210, 280. Okay, if I can stall for four turns, I can get a kill. He doesn't have any Pokemon. Well, he has Fluttermane that can kill, but Fluttermane needs three energies. And he doesn't have an engine to attach that. Okay. Okay. I can see the next couple turns playing out. Oh, you're gonna switch in the other Arceus? Sure. Oh, I don't even have to use the Ultra Ball. That's sick. Okay, we're gonna Zatu. We're gonna Flittle. We're going to Clairvoyant and Energy onto Espathara. For a lady and an earthen vessel. Oh, you'd love to see it happen. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay. Okay, we will... How about this? We can attach an energy f to Espathra. Then we'll Arvin for... A hero's cape. And... Should I counter catcher? Should we energy retrieval? We could lost zone. Well, if I lost vacuum to get rid of the stadium, then let's just pull the other earthen vessel, I think. We're going to hero's cape onto Espathra. Those cards are supposed to look better, by the way. Uh, and then we're just gonna Earthen Vessel. Will Earthen Vessel mimic you away? What? What's wrong with this one? It's like broken. Oh, wait. That's Arvin. Can anyone see that? That's Arvin back there. Hold on. Uh, print screen. Take a screenshot of that shit. That's Arvin in that psychic energy. Um, okay. Regardless, we're just going to keep where we are, and we're going to go Psy for 70. Um, he needs to take another 150 damage, which I can do if I have... four energies between Espathra and Arceus. But if I put... if I put Espathra in... right away... I don't have any energies in the discard. Um... Let's clairvoyant and energy on to Espathara. Okay. I don't need anything though. I'm winning. Like not not extremely, but I am. Um I don't need to play any of this. Uh I guess we'll attach an extra energy to Espathara just in case. 
And then we'll hit for another Ghost Eye. Like, I'm cool with stalling out is the thing. Not stalling out, but rather stalling for a couple turns while he attempts to reconcile the problem that he's having. And then it's my turn, right? Yep. Cool. Can I get a boss? Can I get a boss, please? I didn't throw one away. No, not yet. Um, I need a boss, though. I also don't need this Buddy Buddy Poffin. I've already got everything going for me. We're gonna earthen vessel out the the buddy. And I'm gonna pull two energies, and I'm just gonna attach one of them. Okay, so how much damage does this do? 200. Okay. We're gonna attach one of them here. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'll Arvin. You know what? We can Arvin. Um... For the another buddy poppin. And I'll actually play the buddy poppin. Um Yeah yeah. We'll actually play this buddy poppin. So I can grab an extra flittle and an extra eh, I'll grab an extra Actually I kinda feel like just putting flittle down. Yeah yeah, yeah. I'll just put flittle down. That's fine. Um We're gonna attach to flittle. And we're gonna ultra ball out the Evo and one of the energies so that I can grab my other oh it's not even fucking in here it's in my prizes uh okay I should have grabbed an extra Natsu then uh what do we have in the discard one energy okay so we don't even need to use that we are going to retreat because I think he understands that I can kill him regardless we're gonna energy retrieval both of these now um not to use them, but rather just to hold for a second. Just in case he Iono's next turn, because that could put some of my uh, energy cards back into my deck. There's the boss! Okay. I want my other Espathra, though. Can I get that? Can I get my other Espathra? I know it's in the prizes. But I choose prizes in a meticulous ordered manner, so regardless of where, you know, I'm not going to go fishing for it. It's not like it's not like you can minesweeper for your own prizes, you know. Go ahead, you shred. Do it, you shred. He can't even use shred. Oh, he's gonna be Burrell. Very clever. Very smart. Definitely the better move for him. He could have used that boss's orders for sure. He could have easily kept that and killed my Zatu so I so he could disable my energy engine. But I think he also recognizes that I'm kind of ahead. Not just kind of ahead, that I'm extremely ahead. Uh why do that? Why not use shred? Oh, Polaris, okay. I mean he just gave me the Giratina kill though. He just gave me that Giratina kill for free. What are you doing? I think a lot of people don't know how to deal with Espathra. Like, the Grass-type Espathra EX is, like, very specifically a problem for some- He threw away all of his boss's orders? Who is this? Who is this man? Yeah, put another Giratina on the bench. That'll help you. There we go. See, that's what he wanted. I didn't realize he had a prime catcher. I thought something else was going on. But it's cool. I'll just take out his Arceus. See, because I actually don't need this. Um, if I can Tulip, I should still... Yeah, I still have two Tulips. If I can get one of my two Tulips, then I can get my shit back. Um, and also, I can just kill him anyway. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, we'll just play Nachi to the bench. Um, we're gonna throw an extra energy onto Q. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I can kill here, or I can pull in one of his other Pokemon and kill. But I feel like it'd be better to kill his Arceus. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. 
Because the thing is, his other Pokemon can't hit me. And I'm assuming he doesn't have a Giratina of V-Star. That's only seven p cards anyway. Another b -div? Whatever. He's gonna put a double turbo on his... Okay, but that's not... It doesn't do enough. This is check, right? Like, I'm not... I'm not overestimating. Even if he bosses in, I could still retreat. All of my Pokemon have singular retreat costs, so I'm... He's in check. He's gonna use Abyss Seeking? You gave me the kill. Was that a fucking Iron Leaves? What? He, that was an Iron Leaves! Oh my god. Alright, well, thanks for the free kill. Bye. Good game, though. I mean, truly. Okay. We will we'll go ahead and add this one in. Whoops. Uh, control Z, Control Z. Oh, I understand. It copied the screenshot to my saved thing. Okay. I'm gonna put this over here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Wow, the. That, I mean, you can barely see what I'm doing, but I think you can see what I'm doing. Um. Alright. Uh. Oh, I didn't put any changes in. Uh, so I'm not doing that. Uh, Friday, May 17th, uh, TTCGL, uh, he was playing an Arceus V and a Giratina V. I'm sure against other decks this works well, but against a deck that makes you put extra energies on your Pokemon, you kind of, like, it's hard. Like, it's harder for these people. Um, outcome, victory, that's a two streak, oops, that's the wrong parentheses, uh, again, not enough loss zone cards, uh, and I got set up right away, hard to use V attacks when they... When they all cost four energies. Even with Arceus attach. Cool. Uh, I'm not making any changes to my deck, obviously, because I destroyed him. Or them. Or her. I don't know. Whatever. I'm pretty sure I did at least 50 damage on that one, so I feel like we cleared that mission. Uh, I'll just take that. Oh, I've got three of these tiers unlocked. Ooh, if I go one more, I get some shoes. Oh, this ends in four days. I didn't even realize. Oh, that's because they're doing the... Wait, what, what happens in... No, in four days, it'll be the 21st. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in four days, that's when they're doing the Twilight Masquerade one. Okay. I feel like I can get pretty far in four days. I can get at least two levels every day, including... Okay, so if we... If that's eight levels, then... Um, that puts us up to 43 at least? Okay, well, let's see how well we do right now. For those of you wondering, um, and that are familiar with the ladder system, I am only in uh, Mesperate. As of? Is Mesprit the yellow? No, Yuxi's the yellow one. Mesprit's the pink one. Azelf's the blue one. I'm only in Azelf because I have not been playing this that much. Kind of like with yesterday's stream where I was really far behind on Splatoon. Because I just haven't been playing that much. You know how it is. 
All right, now is this an Iron Leaves deck, or are you playing something else and Iron Leaves happens to be in here? Or do you just like Iron Leaves? I gotta ask. I got to know. He's playing with the Sarah Ledge sleeves. The Sarah Ledge Armor Rouge sleeves. Which means he bought that box, I'm assuming? I had to take two mulligans. Come on. Oh, he gets to see my entire deck. Uh, okay, we're gonna mimic you, and we're gonna throw Shepard on the bench. I can... If he goes first... I'm hoping he goes first, because then I can Arvin. And get my shit set up. Is he going first? Yes! Oh, and it's a Chen Pao deck! Okay, so I don't have a huge advantage, but I do have an advantage. Yeah, he's going to retreat and put his Chen Pao in. Totally normal. Exactly what I expected him to do. We, meanwhile, are going to... He's going to end his turn. Yep. Because uh, you can't do much with a Chen Pao deck on the first turn. Uh, we're going to Buddy Buddy Poffin for a Flittle and a Natu. So that's my, that's my deck right there. That's my whole deck, but he already knows that. Um, then we're going to Arvin for a... We want Evo specifically. And then what are we feeling? Earthen? Probably Earthen Vessel. Yep. Uh, we will... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw out Evo on Mimikyu. We're going to put an energy on Mimikyu. Then we're going to hold on to these cards, because I can't actually do anything else with any of these yet. Um, we're going to Evo these two. Zatu and Espathra. Uh, and that will end my turn. Now what I'm thinking about doing is actually bringing in Shuppet instead. Because if I shup it, I can at least block him from rare candying. Sorry, if I if I bayonet EX, but that requires me to get bayonet EX. He's Irida Ing. That's so that he can look for his backscalibur in a rare candy. Which he can't use this turn, but you know. So here that's the whole thing. This is the whole play for me right now. Is can I get Bayonet EX on my next turn? Because then I can block him out for a while. Actually, I could just knock his chin out. He has 11 cards in his hand. The likelihood of four of those being trainers is extremely high. Four? 60, 120? Yep, that's four. I need four to get the kill. Okay, this will work. This will work. Psychic energy, perfect. We are going to Psychic Energy onto Chappette. Great. Ooh, that's nice. We're going to Heroes Keep onto a Spathra. Then we're going to Earthen Vessel out the Professor's Research. I don't love that, but okay. It's probably the better move. Um, then we can Ultra Ball away the Energy and the Super Rod so that we can put... Please be in here. Please be in here. Yeah, there's our boy. Okay, we're kind of burning through some cards real quick, but it's fine. Um, we're going to Energy Attach to Bayonet. Or we're going to Evolve into Bayonet. Then we're going to throw this on here. Then we're going to retreat Mimikyu, pull Bayonet in, uh, and then we're going to League Headquarters so that he at least can't attach anything, and we're going to Everlasting so that he can't evolve. I probably should have attached for turn to Bayonet EX so that I could Poltergeist, but it's cool he'll just keep stacking cards in his hand because he can't use, uh, he can't use his rare candy that he needs. I like having this, like, knowledge of things. I gotta be honest with you. I, I very much... 
This is one of the reasons I really like the Pokemon trading card game, is because I can learn all these things, and I can be like, oh, well, this is why he's doing this, you know? I like being able to add this, like, these bits of information. Now, if I can get an energy... If I can get one energy... I can kill him. Like, really easily. But that's the whole thing, right? Is can I get that one energy? Can I get an energy, or can I get an Iono, or can I get a Professor's Research, or... Uh... Well, and then that's the thing, too, is an Iono would be kind of dangerous. Could I get a Professor's Research, or an Earthen Vessel, or an Arvin? Professor's Research, Earthen Vessel, Arvin, or just a regular energy. It's an energy retrieval! That'll do it, baby! That'll fucking do it! Oh, you love to see it happen. And then we're going to Zatu the other energy onto Espathora. Now, he has so many fucking cards in his hand. Poltergeist can max out at 960. Holy shit, look at his fucking hand. 420 damage. Bye bye Alright, now he can rare candy all he fucking wants. Because I can keep, unless he Ionos his cards back into his deck, which he won't, because he has a 17 card hand. This is what he's been waiting for. He's about to expend a bunch of them, but it'll still allow me to use... I should still be able to Poltergeist for a knockout, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, especially because he's maintaining that number too. Ooh, the issue is that with Moonlight Shuriken... Oh, he can't Moonlight Shuriken unless he expends four energies, though. 90 damage to two of my opponents... Two of his opponents' Pokemon. He could kill Mimikyu. He could get a free knock on my Mimikyu. Did he just get rid of Iono? That would have been his savior. The Iono would have been, would have been what saves him. Excuse me. Wow, look at that. He did it wrong though. He forget this he forgets that he's a basic Pokemon. I still have League Headquarters in play. Unless Unless Cause I still have League Headquarters. Here's the thing, dude. I have League Headquarters in play. There you go. That's what we're talking about. Okay, cool. Yep. Good, good, good. Hit me with Moonlight. Hit me with Moonlight, and then I'll kill you with Poltergeist, because I know you have three trainers in your hand. He's got at least three trainers out there. And he's about to take uh, a prize card, which could easily add another trainer to his hand. God, I hope it did. God, I really hope it did. That would be so cool. That'd be so cool and so funny. All right, we don't need to use Tulip. Um, we're going to Buddy Buddy for my other Mimikyu. Uh, I want another... Where's my fucking Shuppets? And let's put down a fl Not a Natu. I need a Flittle. Um, I don't know why he attached there. I'll be honest with you. We're going to attach an Energy to... Uh, I'm gonna attach an energy to a Spathra with Clairvoyant. Um, ooh, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I am going to... Yeah, 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 this will work. I am going to... Countercatcher. That's what we like to see. Okay, so I Countercatcher in his backs. Only if you have more prize cards. Oh, wait, I'm winning. I forgot I was winning. We're gonna put an energy on Mimikyu. Um, okay, and then we're going to... We'll Poltergeist. I think I can... Yep, that'll kill. 360 damage? Nearly triple, you say? Uh, I'm putting myself further ahead in the prizes because I forgot how Countercatcher works, and so now I've just got this sitting in my hand. 
Okay, he can Aqua Return, which will shuffle him into his deck, which is probably what he wants, right? Oh, Palkia! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Of course, I'll kill him with my Espathra. Or I'll just play Mimikyu. I gotta be honest, the Chen Pao matchup is not is not good. The matchup, like, on his end, the Chen Pao... It... Chen Pao against Espathra and Bayonet, not good. Especially if I can keep Everlasting Darkness in play. Ooh, he's gonna Prime Catcher. Yeah, you're gonna pull my Espathra in? No, it's the Zatu! Ah, oh, look at him go. Good for you, bud. I am gonna kill your Bex, though. I'm gonna kill your back so fast. You're so dead. You're a damn fool and you're dead. Oh, he doesn't even need... He didn't need that extra energy on... Oh, he does when I need... It's when I pull a Spathra in. I was like, uh, you don't need that extra energy because uh, League Headquarters won't affect you. Ooh, okay. No, I don't know. Interesting. Okay. Oh, and I get three cards. What can we pull for? I have a Mimikyu in my discard. Okay, I can Zatu these back at least. Or I can Spathra. I can Tulip these back. I know what I'm talking about. We're gonna pull a Spathra. Um, good. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Okay. Uh, we're gonna Tulip. Uh, all three of these, thank you. We're gonna play Natsu back onto the bench. Uh, we're gonna put... We genuinely don't need energies on Espathra. Next turn we might, though. Is the thing. Yeah, next turn we might. So we're gonna keep that in play. Uh, this will work... We're just going to knock him out with Cyball. Because getting rid of his backs at least puts me up another prize. And yeah, and that'll give me... Yep, yeah, okay, cool. Psychic energy, that's good. Um, and then he can't attach. Unless he rare candies another backs in immediately. Oh, there he goes! Look at him go. Okay, now in order to... He has to attach three energies to Chen Pao. 6120, 180, 240, 300, 360. Oh, so he could do it. He could get the knockout. Okay. Good for him. That was a lost rod and a Palkia. He doesn't have the cards he needs. Hello, uh, Mandy Cordis. How you doing? How you feeling? I'm playing some Pokemon right now. I hope that's uh, enjoyable and cool. Okay, so he can't do it. He can't get me. 60, 90, 120, 150. Okay. If I can get an energy switch, I think I can kill next turn. But otherwise, maybe not. Oh, he needs another, another energy. There it is. There's our guy. Yeah, that V-Star power will really kind of take care of it for you. You play this every day? What deck do you play? Yeah, you're gonna do it? You're gonna throw away every single one of your energies? I'm looking forward to it. Come on. Yeah. Very nice. Very well done. We're going to move Bayonet in. Because that's just easy. Uh, okay. What I would love is a different situation than the one I'm in right now. Um, okay, we're going to Espathra here. We are going to energy onto Espathra. 
we are going to energy retrieval to get some more of my energies back. You've been playing standard lately? Nice. I mean, I, I play standard all the time. I almost never play... Uh, I almost never play expanded unless I'm playing my poison deck because there's, like, no good poison cards in the standard meta right now. Um... I think that what we want to do is Poltergeist and hope he has four trainers. That's four trainers, baby! That's fucking game! That's fucking game! Oh my god, that was such a gamble, too. Because if he didn't have four trainers, he definitely could have done some damage to me next turn. Four trainers. Whew. Shit is dangerous. The important thing is to not give up. Cool. Damn, I did 1,300 damage to him. That's insane. Okay, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Uh, okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna zoom in on this. Make it, like, easier to see. Uh, today was, today is still Friday, May 17th. Uh, this was an online game. I was playing Espafit. Uh, he was a Chen Pao. Uh, victory. That's three in a row. What'd you say? Um, you have a ton of decks, your most recent deck was Zatu, Curlia, Serena, and Gallade EX? Gallade EX? Yeah, like from... Like, like from Black and White? Or Sword and Shield... Or not Sword and Shield, Sun and Moon? No, that's just GXs. Not Gallade, the future one. Oh, uh... Iron Valiant. Iron Valiant, I know what you're talking about been avoiding using your mute EX because it's really good and you use it too much already. I honestly, I don't, uh, I've just never liked Mew EX that much. Like, I just personally, maybe that's just like a me thing, but like, hold on. Um, cause I bought, uh, so I, I bought the UPC, so I got one of these boys, um, focus. It's not going to. You know what I'm talking about. This is the gold card. This one's the gold one. Um, but I... So I got the I got the UPC, the 151 UPC, and it came with the, you know, that Mew EX. And then I have... Um, come here. I have this one as well, obviously. This one, this, like, this one's really nice. This one I like a lot more, um, because it's really pretty. Uh, put that back up on the shelf. Um, but I, I've just been, like, I used to run Mew EX in my decks, but it's just so situational, because there's not, like, a great attach engine for it, other than Gardevoir, and Gardevoir cuts its health down by 60, you know, if you want to attach all three energies. I, I've seen it work for other people. Excuse me. I've seen it work for other people. It's just personally, I can't, like, I can't get it to run consistently. <laughs> Excuse me, jeez. Yeah, yeah, definitely show me your cards. I love looking at people's card collections. Oh, my mouse die? Oh, no, there it is. Um, No, I love looking at people's card collections. You should definitely do that. Uh, uh, Spathra EX plus Pokemon League means that he, that Chen Pao has a very hard time attaching and attacking. Especially after Bayonet EX Poltergeist killed 
him when he had... What was it? 12, 13 cards in his hand? No, it was like 12 cards. 12 cards in his hand. Half of which were trainers. Um, not not Chien Pao, Chien Pao. Um, I am not going to make changes to my deck. We are going to keep on keeping on. I'm gonna keep playing this one. I can just keep going up the. Um, the Ace Bet Cape is amazing. Oh, I know, right? The Ace Bet Cape is so good. Hold on, where's my chat box? Did what? Is there not a chat box in here? Oh no. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is it? It's down here. Uh, I'll take Tails. Uh, the purpose of my tracker? Oh, I do have ads on, yes. I'm sorry, I do have to run ads because I don't, uh, you know, I'd like to make money. Let's put Mimikyu up. And shop it on bench, of course. Um, we're gonna configure. Don't auto focus. Don't auto. I keep. I swear to God, every single day I turn the auto focus off, and then it's just like, mm, I'm gonna do it anyway. Ooh, he's playing Moon. He's playing Ancient Box. Why didn't that immediately bump his health up? Oh, it did. It just didn't display the graphic. Um, oh yeah, the A-spec cape is like the best A-spec. I mean, other than Prime Catcher, obviously. Um, but again, I feel like Prime Catcher is a little situational. Uh, he's gonna throw away his Iono and two of his Dark Patches. That's a gamble. Now here's the thing. A lot of my Pokemon have a Psychic Weakness, or a Dark Weakness. But that's okay, because as soon as I get Espathra in, I can do this. Um, whoa, my mouse is being weird. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Not a great opening hand. Okay, the ads are done. Um, yeah, like I said, the A-spec cape is really great. Uh, it's the... I think it's the strongest in the format other than... Um, other than... I want to say... Prime Catcher. Because, like, literally nothing else is quite as good. Um, what's the purpose of my tracker? Oh, the purpose of my tracker is for... Um, uh, cause I'm going to Los Angeles, um, that next week, actually. Time flies, huh? Um, yeah, I'm going to LA, um, next week, uh, on Friday, um, for the, uh, Los Angeles Regional Championships. Um, so I have been keeping track of all the matches that I play so that I can see what matchups I do well against and what matchups I have trouble with. Um, cause there's always something here and there, you know, um, that you gotta be on lookout for. Uh, so I try to keep track of everything and I can write down like, you know, like I had this one specific problem with my deck against this one specific deck. Uh, and then I can consider whether or not I want to like do anything about it. I'm gonna counter catcher in his... D -d not that it's done sparse, because that thing will just get out of there and retreat really quickly. We're gonna squawk a Billy. Yeah, we're gonna squawk a Billy, and then I'll just use Enveloping Shadow, because I don't have any Pokemon. Um, use Serena for healing and retreat frequently. Oh, like Radiant Serena? Yeah, Radiant Serena's great. I try to run it in, like, everything I can. 
Um, it doesn't fit into everything, but you know, when I can put it somewhere, it's really good. Uh, oh, and you have a Dojo damage deck. Do you run, uh, you run Hisui and Zoroark? Or do you run like one of the like like one of the single prizers like Agron or Steelix? A Hoopa EX. What? Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Energy Crush is for attaching energy for doing damage to your opponent's Pokemon. Yeah, Hisui and Zoroark. Yeah, I've run into a couple of those. Um, they're not bad. Uh. Um, they're not bad. Do you think 180 damage was enough damage? Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, History and Zoro work is decent. Uh, okay. Uh, Friday, May 17th, um, online. I was playing my deck that I always play. Uh, this was Ancient Box. Loss. Um, did not draw any basic Pokemon before he managed to knock out both my Mimikyu and my Shep it. Uh -huh. Okay. Attack damage done. Ten. Um, are private games possible on this? I, I maybe. Um. Hold on. My girlfriend's asking me if I want food. Okay, um, that's a great question. Um, yeah, yeah, if you add someone as a friend, then you can, uh, yeah, you can play private battles against them. You, j I just need to know your screen name and you need to know my screen name and my screen name is already on screen. So that makes shit easy. That makes shit easy. Did they add anything new to the shop recently? Uh, view all bundles. Oh, they put the Gardevoir deck in here. They still run Cresselia in this? Oh, I guess Moonglow Reverse is good for that. Still, that attack maxes out at 120. I don't personally love that. Um, how about Melmetal? Melmetal does 90 plus. So Melmetal does base 230? 210. Melmetal does base 210. How much does Dialga do? For the same number of energies. Four energies on Melmetal is 210. Um, I have a Dialga deck, don't I? Yeah. This does 40 for each Psychic, or for each Steel energy. No, 40 more for each Steel energy. So that would be, at four energies, that would be 80, 120, Yeah, it, would, it does do well. 60, yeah, so Melmetal does more damage, but Dialga does... Dialga has Star Kronos. So you might as well use Star Kronos. Okay, I understand why no one has switched to Melmetal yet. 
but I'm sure next year when it rotates out, people will very likely switch if they want to keep playing Steel. Do I want to talk on Discord? I don't know. Um, um, no, that's okay. No, let's just let's just play a regular match because I think it's more. Oh, whoops. I think it's I think it's interesting when you can't know what your opponent is trying to do, you know. Like I think that there's something interesting about uh about just being like, hmm. Well, I think this is their strategy, but let's find out. Uh, okay. So what's your what's your screen name? Oops. Full screen, please. Yeah, yeah, hit me up with your screen name. Ocean Swift. Okay. One word. Oops. Right here, please? Oh, there we go. Okay. I, my computer was like, no, that's... It, like, made something full screen on the other side. Okay. <laughs> Try not to look at my hand. Yeah, that'll be easy. I only have one friend in this game. That's kind of funny. That's the only way to add friends, huh? You can't really... Like, they're not... They don't let you do it with, like... Like, they don't let you be like, Oh, well, I really like the way that guy played the last time, so I'm gonna make friends with him. Like, no, you can't do that. It's really just put in their screen name and that's it. Add friend. What's this, uh, what's this blue thing? Oh, 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 there it is. Wait, let's look at your, um, oh, you're in Greninja. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a funny deck. I'm gonna play a, I'm gonna play a funny deck and I'm not gonna explain to you what the strategy on this one is. Yeah, this is fun. This is cool. Ooh, nice Mewtwo coin. I like that. What is that from? Tails. That's the that's Mega Mewtwo X, right? So that probably would have come out back in the X and Y era. Oh, I like your I like your sleeves too with the spoons. And we both took a mulligan. Okay, cool. Um, oh, you're playing. Oh, I'm playing Charizard, and you're playing Psychic with the Gengar. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Interesting. My turn. Okay, cool. Let's. Throw an energy on Charcadet. We will buddy buddy for. I'm gonna pull a Charmander and an A Palm. Yeah, I feel like that's probably smart to start with. Um, and then I can't attack on my first turn, so I will end it and pass you. And now we wait. An Ultra Ball, okay. Oh. You play Roseanne's, okay. I've been thinking about putting Roseanne into my into one of my decks. Um but I'm not sure yet. Radiant Sodina. I wish Aroma Shot was better, but the ability to heal 20 damage every single turn is really nice. 
We're going to put Armor Rouge out. I'm going to put Charcadet on the bench. I'm going to attach an energy to Armor Rouge. Uh, I don't want to waste my time with these other... Well, no, no, no. Hold on. Actually. Because I could Evo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can Evo. Four... We're gonna Evo for these two. We're gonna put that Charmeleon out. And then we're gonna put the other Armor Rouge out. Cool. Yeah, yeah, this is a good opener. For me, at least. I have no idea what's going on in your hand, so you could easily just have something that'll totally destroy whatever is going on with me. We'll have to find out. Got the Curlia. Refinement Curlia. Very smart. Always a good card to have. I just ordered a, I just ordered 36 packs of uh, Silver Tempest, so I'm going to be picking some of those Curlia up, too. Um, fun fact uh, for anyone out there, uh, today, May 17th, um, is Mayhem Day on uh, TCG Player. Um... And if you have, uh, if you spend any money at all, they will kick you back some money, um, that you can spend the next time you play something, uh, or the next time you buy something. Uh, so I went through and I spent, um, a chunk of change. I'm not telling anybody exactly how much money I spent. Because uh, I don't need anybody judging me. But I spent a chunk of change to fill out uh, one of my binders that I have with a bunch of art cards. And then I uh, and then I spent some money um, buying a Silver Tempest booster. I'm going to Scorching Bazooka. Because I don't have anything else in my hand. Oh, not that one. This one. Um... But I am getting, uh, like, a decent amount of money back, uh, in cash back, because I spent that money on, uh, TCG Player. And it's great. I, I was going somewhere with that, and then I was just like, well, there's nothing else to say. You can go on to tcgplayer.com, and you can get kickback, you know, you can get money back for spending money on literally anything um and you know the more money you spend on tcg player the more you get back and the more money you spend on tcg player the more it'll condense your cards into purchase it into like better purchases so you can save money um it's all good shit so i'm not sponsored by tcg player but uh hey tcg player if you want to sponsor me Hit your boy up, because I'll play Pokemon non-stop if you want. Like, if you pay me some money, like, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be picking that shit up for sure. Um, so just, you know, hit me up, TCG player. Check me out. The Earthen Vessel, Fire Energy away. To pull two, uh, one of which I will, yeah, we'll throw one under, actually I don't even need that, not yet anyway, I'm gonna throw an energy onto Apom, um, and then I could, yeah, no, I will just bazooka. I will bazooker. Oh, a Charizard. Oh. Alright, moving the giraffe again. I'm assuming this is because you have a fur giraffe. I, I'm assuming that. You know? I have no way to know. My girlfriend is bringing me sushi for lunch. That's pretty cool. Oh, you're gonna put your Netherworld Gate Gengar out there so you can pull him in, right? I do like Netherworld Gate Gengar. I have, uh... 
I gotta stand up for this one. One of the cards up on my wall is this boy. Uh, and I will, for everyone uh, who can't see shit, uh, which is largely me, um, I will just show this one off real quick. I got this Gengar, the Silver Tempest one. Wow, that's reflective as hell. That's just not showing up. Um, too much light. Okay, but I have this Gengar. Uh, he sits up on my art wall because I really like him. Um, he's very cool. I like it a lot. Um, it's the it, it's the Lost Origin one. I said Silver Tempest, but it's actually the Lost Origin one. Um, and I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Two, four, two. Okay. I know that I know that you're a viewer, um, and I appreciate that. You know, I it means a lot to me that you would show up to this. Um, But I did design this deck to be ruthless, uh, and I know that that's mean, uh, and I'm sorry to be mean to you. I hope that you'll keep watching the channel anyway. Um, I really do. Uh, but I did design this deck to basically overclock one Pokemon. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Gardevoir. I think Gardevoir is a pretty decent Pokemon. Um, Gardevoir EX, that is. I just, I think that, uh, I think that they, well, I think that it's balanced correctly. I think a Pokemon that can attach any number of energies to any of its Pokemon, uh, you know, as long as they're in the discard, is a really good energy engine, you know, uh, and 190 damage is not that bad, to be honest with you. Uh, okay, and then we're gonna put energy on a bomb. We're gonna Ultra Ball these two cards so that I can pull an Amber Bomb. Yeah, that's good. And then just gonna hit Scorching Bazooka again. For a long time, I was trying really hard to nail down this Armor Rouge deck, and I just could not do it. Like, I just kept going and going and going, and I just couldn't get it, I just couldn't put it together properly. Um, and then I remembered something. Um, I remembered this Ambipom card, which I will be honest is, I think, one of the only good cards from the Pokemon Go set. There's, like, maybe six cards in Pokemon Go that are good. I mean, it's a tiny set anyway, but, like, the Ambipom is good because, A, you could potentially just block all the damage. Um, uh, you know what I mean? You could potentially just block all of the damage. Um, but also... Because you get to do 60 damage full per energy. Um, you get to do 60 damage per energy. Uh, and with Charizard from the same set, you can double what every fire energy counts as. Therefore, you get to just flip forever with Ambipom. Good game, though. Good game. Props to, props to you. Um, wow, I do... Okay, that does make me feel kind of bad, because that does say 1,400. Um, I do feel bad about that. Dang. We could totally, we could totally play another one, though. Yeah, good game, good game. Um, we could play another one, though, if you've got... Uh, if you want to try something else. I've got some other decks I need to roll tests on. 
Yeah, I did the Defiant Vest didn't seem to work. Um Why is that? Shouldn't you have kicked shouldn't that have kicked in? What's Defiant Vest? Oh, it's a trainer. Um Defiant Vest. Whoops. Oh, Defiance Vest. Uh Yeah, that should have worked. That's weird. Why didn't that work? Maybe it was a glitch or something. Yeah, you want to play again? Okay, cool. Um, I will play a different deck. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, how do we go to profile friends? Let's do a quick challenge. Uh, and I will play with... Did I finish this deck? Did I make this all the way? I feel like I did. Yeah. I'm going to play with Wake. Now, I've seen absolutely no decks that run Walking Wake EX. And I knew that I had to do something about that. Because Suicune is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Um, and Walking Wake is just Suicune as a dinosaur. Hold on. Product facing. See that? You gotta make sure you can see the entire LaCroix logo when you drink out of it. Yeah, Suicune is so good. Suicune, Suicune is like peak design. I'll be honest with you. Um, Suicune is just really good. I'm a huge fan. Huge fan. Um, so I tried to put a deck together with Walking Wake. Um, it's kind of annoying though. Because Walking Wake is not ideal. It's got some good abilities, don't get me wrong. The fact that it can kill Mimikyu's is really nice. Um, and the fact that it it bleeds through uh, most, you know, it'll bleed through tools. Um, at least tools that reduce damage and abilities that reduce damage. Uh, and resistance as well if any pokemon have resistance um but 120 damage is not that good uh, i feel like i fucked something up challenge Whenever, whenever Pokemon Trading Card Game Live just sits there and spins for a long time, it's like, yeah, this is, uh, there's something wrong. Because, <laughs> like, this game, you know, not to, like, rag on the Pokemon Trading Card Game, but, like, PTCGL is a little, uh, you know what I mean? It's got some problems, is what I will say about it. That's what all that's all I'll say about it. It's got some problems. All right, here we go. Uh I'll take heads. My little beach themed deck. Do I want to go first? Yeah. I think so. Again, I haven't tested this deck enough to know. Yeah, okay. No, this will work. I mean, obviously I can't I can't uh support her on my first turn, but what I can do, we can throw an energy on Tatsugari. We can pull out a nest ball, which will get us our boy. Are you playing Bramblegast? Did I recognize immediately what deck this is? Um, I can't attack right now, and I don't need to use an Earthen Vessel, so I'll just end my turn. I, I'm pretty sure this is Bramblegast, because you're playing a Pinaco.
Yeah. I just have, I have some, I have a little bit of experience with this. Ooh, is that Saguaro? You got the full art Saguaro in here? That card's so good. So nice to look at. Love him. And he's an SIR too. There's a Mew EX. Excuse me, jeez. <clears throat> Draw for the restart. Always good. Smart thing to do right away. And then it would be my turn. Okay, cool. Um, ooh, Lumineon. Uh, uh, I will... Uh, I don't know if this is helpful. No, it is. It is, because I can Arvin. Yeah, yeah, I'll use Lumina Sign for... Oh, what is... Oh, do I want... Candace? Do I want to Iron? Do I want to... No, I want to Arvin. I would like to Arvin. Because with Arvin, I could at least pull for... Uh, we can pull the Booster Capsule, and then we can pull a Trekking Shoes. Because then I can Earthen Vessel out the Trekking Shoes... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This will work. We're going to attach an energy to Wake like this. We're going to put the booster on Wake. We are going to mise en place. Get it? Because he's, he's like a sushi. He's like a sushi. So so the French term, the French term for uh, proper plating, or rather... Uh, how do I say this? The French term for the most artistic possible plating of a uh, of a meal is uh, the mise en plate, uh, which is where you just sort of set the food up to look really nice. Um, oh, thank you. So mise en place is just display in place. Don't go anywhere. Stay where you are and do a pose. And that's what Tatsugiri does all the time. Cool. Okay. We'll move walking wake in. God damn, they're just giving me all these fucking sadas. That's not helpful. Um, I'm going to straight up Iono. I know it will also benefit you, but I would like to do it. Uh, we can... Palkia? Can energy onto Palkia. Um, Catharsis Roar will do 120. Yeah, I wish it did more, though. Yeah, I'll just Catharsis Roar for the 120. See, this is the problem with Walking Wake, is I can't really hit that hard until I poison you or something, and that's difficult to do. It's just not easy right away. Oh, you got the old energy retrievals. Hello. What's that? If you don't mind. Yeah. I love you too. My girlfriend brought me sushi. Ultra Ball. Oh, you got the full art Miriams. I do like myself a full art Miriam. A cookie. Thank you, people. I love you. I love you too. I'll take 120. That's fine. I can survive that. 
Oh, that's the, that's the fucking... That's the boy. That's the boy right there. I need a water Pokemon. And an item card. Yes. Good, 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 good. Okay. Yeah, okay, so this is where this works. This is where this deck starts to work a little bit. And then we can Catharsis Roar for 240 instead. So regardless, it would have taken me two turns to knock out, um, which is a little annoying, but you know. Ooh, the Master Ball. I don't need that now that I have all my cards on my bench. Oh, you could Catharsis Roar me for 120, though. Although, I can't be affected by special conditions, so I don't know how much it would benefit you. I guess that's the whole thing, right? I guess that's really the whole, the whole thing. Is that Gapejaw? You run Gapejaw on this deck? Oh, okay. Interesting. You don't see that all the time. Not the most common... I mean, there have been a lot of people playing it, but like... I think it's for, it's for like the... Because the current meta is very like basic based. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of Pokemon that come out where it's just like, oh, it's just, you know, immediately basic and you just have to attach some energies and you're good. Don't need anything else. Okay. Not bad. Go for another turn. Probably a good idea. Um I will Master Ball for my other Wake, which we will throw on the uh, which we'll throw on the bench here. Uh, I'm fine with taking 20 damage. I don't have any energy in my discard, but we'll attach an energy to Wake. Um, I'm gonna Iron Bundle. I'm gonna Hyper Blower. I mean. Uh, so you get to pull something else in. The scum, it's fine. That's fine. Um. Yeah, okay. And then we're just, we're gonna switch cart walking wake out, because he's, he's a little damaged. It's fine, though. Uh, and then I'm just gonna hit you with subspace. Subspace swell. I'll take one prize card. I have chopsticks in my hand. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh, nice. Yeah, and then you can hit me with subspace swell. Not too shabby. Oh, look at you with your little genome hacking. Ooh. Okay. I like that. That's very good. I like that. Oh, no. Okay. Ah, so you could discard an extra card. I understand. That way you could pull more cards using restart. Smart. I see your strategery. Your stratego. 200 damage. Whew. Spicy. Okay, I'm going to... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Okay. And then we're gonna star portal. I know I only have two energy in my discard, but we're gonna star portal anyway. Um, I could nest ball. I don't know that I need to. I don't know that I need to nest ball. I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna hit with Catharsis. You know what I mean? Catharsis. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you got Arceus V in here. Interesting. Okay. Which, what am I missing then? I feel like Catharsis V should be... I don't... Or Catharsis V. Catharsis Roar. I feel like Catharsis Roar should be... Like, two energies. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Oh, there's your Bramblegast. Okay. Your high HP Bramblegast. Alright. Okay. Strange behavior. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, might as well. Definitely might as well, right? Just put all that and just put all that damage onto slow, bro. That way you've healed yourself back down. Very clever. Okay. Yeah, good for you. Now, if I could get, there are a couple cards here that I might need, that might be greatly beneficial to me. We'll see how it goes. Ah, retreating and adding in the Dune Spars. Oh, and then the leftovers. Okay, clever. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll do this. I'm gonna boss your Mew back in. Um, and then I don't even actually need to poison you. I will just hit you with Catharsis, which will kill. Okay. There's my Radiant Greninja. A Pokemon I would typically want immediately at the start of the game. Immediately, you'd think. You'd think. You'd have to assume. Wow, look at you, the Dunsparce combo. Not bad. Pull yourself a full hand, why don't you? Excuse me. Hiccuping. Ah, the chestnut. Yes, of course, the chestnut. Okay, you're gonna double turbo. Smart. A good thought. A good thought indeed. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna play Radiant Greninja to the bench. I don't care if he takes twenty damage. That's fine with me. Um, 
Actually, I don't even need to do anything. Else. No, we should be good. And a toxic powder. Uh. Yeah, and then I'll hit for 240. Nice. Not too shabby. Whew. I gotta get up and stretch after this. I gotta take a I'm gonna take a brief break between games. Uh come back and play some Pokemon Unite after this one. Cause I've been sitting in this chair for two hours. <laughs> two and a half actually. I've been doing computer stuff in the morning too. Powerful needles. Powerful needles. Yeah. That's... Ooh, that's bad luck. I am sorry about that one. That is bad luck. I will just go ahead and hit Catharsis Roar. Mm -mm -mm. And I'll take that. Good game. Good game. Not bad. Not too bad. I did try to choose, like, the least, like, dickish line at the end. Thank you. Thank you. That's very nice of you to say. I tried very hard to put that together, and I was kind of beating myself up about it for, like, a while. Because, like, every time I put it together, I would then go, Well, no, but that kind of sucks. And then i put something else in there. Um... Oh, you're serene your Arsis Vmax are in your prize cards. That explains a lot, yeah. Because I bet if you had got those out, you probably could have knocked me out. You had a lot of damage on my Pokemon. I just, you know, I ended up, like, right with the exact cards that I needed at the exact second I needed them. Um, which is tough. Uh, it can be tough. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Uh, thank you, Amandi, for playing with me. It's super cool of you. Uh, yeah, healing with Selena and Slowbro is really good. Yeah, because you can just kind of keep moving your cards. You can keep moving your damage around, and you sort of just cut people down over and over. Oh, uh, quick shout-out to Tonio IDK uh, for the follow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, all right, y'all. I am going to go eat some lunch real quick. Uh, I will be back in 10 to 15 minutes with some Pokemon Unite. Uh... That'll be good. That'll be up in a second. Um, yeah, thank you so much for playing with me. It was fun to play with you. Maybe I should do this more often where I will invite people to come on and play against me. That'd be really cool. Um, but thank you so much for stopping in. Uh, if you are on Twitch, remember to hit that follow. Uh, if you got five bucks laying around, hit that subscribe. Um, if you are kind of bored and you want to go to a different website, uh, there's so many of them to choose from. Hit on that link tree, uh, and that'll take you to everywhere else that I am. I love that Squirtle emote. That's really good. That's really good, actually. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, remember to follow, like, uh, comment, uh, and, you know, just kind of look at my thumbnails, like, in your off time. Like, that's something people do on YouTube, right? Just like a normal thing to do, sit there and stare at thumbnails. Um, uh, I will be back. I will be back in 10 or 15 minutes with some Pokemon Unite. Uh, I'll see you then.